Windows 11 just got crazy fast. This new Tiny 11 25 H2 Lite boots in seconds runs smoother than any Windows build before and fits in just six gigabytes. Hi, this is Neil from Appaduce. Let me show you how to get this running on your PC. First, we'll create Tiny 11 Lite using the Creator tool. Then we'll install it two ways, without a USB using Xeno and with a bootable USB using Rufus. If you don't want to reinstall Windows, I'll show you another option using Velotic later in the video. Next, we'll compress Tiny11 to save even more disk space, install your preferred browser, and fix any crashes or out-of-memory errors. We'll also cover driver installation for smooth performance and show how to change your system language in a few clicks. Finally, we'll look at the key benefits of Tiny11 and help you decide if it's the right version for you. Let's begin. Let's start by building Tiny11 with the Creator tool. Launch the creator you downloaded from our official site, linked in the pinned comment. Click Build, and the tool will automatically prepare your Tiny11 installer. If you don't want to build it yourself, you can also download the ready-made installer from our website. Both options are available. Be sure to use a genuine Windows 11 license. We only support clean and legal installations. The build time depends on your internet speed and system performance. Once complete, you'll see Build Finish Successfully in the log confirming that your installer is ready. And remember, never download Tiny11 from any third-party sites. Doing so can expose your PC to malware or security risks. Always get it directly through the official creator or our verified installer. Now let's move to Xeno, a lightweight tool that lets you install Tiny11 without needing a bootable USB. Xeno comes bundled with the package. Open it, Pick the Tiny11 installer you created earlier and choose the drive where you want it installed. Make sure that drive doesn't contain any important files since it will be formatted during setup. Set the file system to NTFS, confirm the choices, and let Xeno do the installation. The process usually takes only a few minutes. When it's finished, restart your PC. You should now see a dual boot menu with Tiny11 included. If it doesn't show up, you can manually add it with a BCD tool like EasyBCD or Visual BCD. That's all. No USB drives, no extra steps, just a direct and straightforward install. If Xeno fails or you'd rather install through a bootable USB, use Rufus. It's simple and reliable. Insert a USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of space and back up anything important since it will be wiped. Launch Rufus, pick your Tiny11 installer Select the USB drive and start the process. It usually takes five to 10 minutes, depending on your system and USB speed. When it's done, you'll have a bootable Tiny11 USB ready to go. Restart your PC, press the boot menu key, usually F12, F8, or E, and choose your USB drive. If you're unsure which key works for your device, a quick search will tell you. Once you boot from the USB, Tiny11 setup will begin automatically. It's much simpler than a normal Windows 11 installation you'll go straight to the drive selection screen. Take a moment to confirm the correct drive before continuing since it will be fully overwritten. Language settings can be changed later, so don't worry about that now. After setup, Tiny11 will boot straight to the desktop, clean and ready. If you prefer to skip reinstalling Windows or want instant speed on your current system, try Velotic. It converts your existing Windows into a Tiny11-like build with just a few clicks. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now the most important part, turning Windows 11 into Tiny11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page and hit play. That's it. The entire process runs automatically. 
In one click, your PC becomes Tiny11 fast, with no files deleted and no features broken. A full guide is linked in the i button and the description below. Back to your fresh Tiny11 setup. Once installation finishes through Rufus or Xeno, your PC will boot straight to the desktop. The first thing you should do is enable compression. This feature reduces the size of your system drive by up to 60%, freeing a lot of storage while keeping performance fully intact. It's completely safe and every user should enable it. Once it's done, you'll have the latest Windows 11 25 H2 build running faster than ever, all packed into just six gigabytes. That's less than one sixth the size of regular Windows, yet it runs smoother, boots quicker, and uses far less RAM. Tiny 11 Lite is built for speed and stability, making it ideal for older laptops, low-end PCs, or anyone who wants a clean, efficient Windows experience without the usual bloat. Now that Tiny 11 is up and running, let's connect it to the internet. Open the Configure app and pick the browser you want. I'll choose Chrome, but you can go with Edge, Opera, or Firefox. The choice is yours. Which browser do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. I read them all. In a few seconds, Chrome will install automatically with a single click. Once you're online, check out my YouTube channel and our partner channel, and hit subscribe if you haven't already. You'll also find a link to our Discord in the description. Join in to chat with other Tiny11 and Velotic users, get help, and see early previews of new builds before anyone else. If you notice random crashes or out-of-memory errors, here's how to fix them. Open the Configure app, turn on paging files, and restart your PC. This quick step usually resolves stability issues right away. Paging files are disabled by default to save storage, but enabling them provides a big boost in system stability and prevents memory-related crashes. Now let's talk about the drivers. They're what make every part of your PC function correctly, from graphics and audio to network and input devices. In Tiny11, installing them is simple. You don't need to browse untrusted sites or deal with manual setups. Open the Configure app, click Install Drivers, and when the list appears, either pick the ones you need or select Install All to handle everything at once. Do you really need them? If you play games or edit videos, you'll want the graphics drivers. On laptops, drivers manage the touchpad, touchscreen, and function keys. For desktop users, they enable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and system power features. After installation, your PC will run at peak performance, stable, fast, and fully optimized. Now let's talk about how to fully change your system language in Tiny11. Perfect if you want to switch from English to your native language or simply prefer a different interface. Start by opening Settings, then go to Time and Language and select Language and Region. Here you'll see a list of languages currently installed on your system. To add a new one, click Add a Language. Type the name of the language you want, like Spanish, French, or Portuguese, then click Next. You'll see an option labeled Set as my Windows Display Language. Make sure this box is checked. Then click Install. Windows will now start downloading and applying the full language pack. Depending on your connection speed and the size of the pack, this process can take several minutes. During this time, Windows replaces the text, menus, and interface resources across the system. Once installation finishes, Select your new language from the list and make it your display language. Before signing out, you'll notice two copy buttons under the Administrative Language Settings section. Click both of them. This step copies your new language settings to system accounts in the login screen. Now sign out when prompted and log back in. You'll immediately notice that most of your desktop, start menu, and system dialogues have changed to the new language. To complete the process, open the same language and region window again and click the same two copy buttons one more time. This ensures that your chosen language applies everywhere, including the welcome screen system prompts and user profiles. After that, your entire Windows interface, from startup to desktop, will be displayed in the language you selected. Everything will look consistent, including menus, system apps, and notifications. That's it. Your Tiny11 setup is now completely localized, giving you a full Windows experience in the language you're most comfortable with. You'll find the purchase link in the pinned comment below. Tiny11 Lite is a premium service designed for people who care about performance, privacy, and reliability. No lag, no clutter, no wasted power, just consistent long-term performance. 
You can download free builds from unknown creators online, but those often come with hidden malware or tampered files. If you want real safety, speed, and stability, the premium build is the only version worth installing. Thanks for watching. This is a Pidus signing off.